I remember the first time I was buying wheels, I didn't know what to look for. I didn't know if I wanted 17s, 18s, or 19s. But what I did, like what most people would do, is do some research through forums, you know, Google images, Fitment Industries, or even through Facebook groups. What I did a lot was look through the old posts of Facebook groups because if you look through the old forums, most of the time they don't have images there because, you know, they're just gone. Now, with this video, it's just for me to help you guys choose wheels. I have 17s, 18s, and 19s. No 20s because 20s do not belong in this car. So before I start, just know that a lot of these wheels have really aggressive widths and offsets. What you're gonna be needing to do is roll your fenders or cut your fender lips. In the rears, I already have this lip cut. It's really hard to roll this lip and not have it crack your paint or dimple. I don't know if you can tell, but this lip is so thick that when I rolled it, it's starting to pull itself under. So what I first did was I, I rolled it, but then it ended up pulling the fender under itself. So then I cut it and then shaved it so it sits mostly flush. And then I sealed it with silicone. I'm not sure if silicone is the best, but with what I did, you know, it seems to have worked. For the fronts, I just rolled it, but then it started cracking paint because I didn't use enough heat. So I ended up resorting to an angle grinder and chopping it off and then shaving it so that, you know, there's no sharp edges that would cut my tire. Obviously my lip could still be shaved a little bit more, but it works for now. So this specific wheel is a Wed Sport SA70, 17 by nine plus 20 with a 235-45 17 tire. To make it fit better in terms of flushness, I have a 15 millimeter spacer, you know, just to give it a little bit more poke, even though it's still flush. In the rear, it's the same size, same tire size as well, but instead of a 15 millimeter spacer, I have a five millimeter spacer. That's just enough flushness until it starts rubbing on this inner bump. This inner bump can be knocked out with a hammer. So here are some pictures of the SA70s on the SC300. I like the look of 17s on this big body car just because it's something different. A lot of people like to run 18s and 19s, which is, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, it's all based on personal preference, but small wheels on a big body is pretty cool to me. So yeah, there you go. So the next set of wheels I'm gonna put on are these ABS Model 6s. These are really weak spec. I'm gonna be putting on a spacer for you guys. The exact spec of these are a 17 by seven plus 30. And they're currently wrapped in 215 45 tires. I will be throwing on a 38 millimeter spacer, I believe. So yeah, let's see how this turns out. I'm a fan of how the rear fits, but the front, I believe it can take another 50 millimeters of poke. I just noticed that my fog light is full of water. But look at this fitment. This is perfect to me, so. The fronts currently are a 17 by seven plus 30. But since we have a 38 millimeter and a 50 millimeter, it's a negative 23 offset, which is funny because it's a seven wide. The rears look amazing too. I'm sure I could still pull my fender and you know roll it a little bit more in order to fit a bigger wheel. I don't want to risk my somewhat clean quarter panels just for some bigger wheels. I'd rather run some spacers than to pull my fenders to fit the wheel. You know, some people like to make the wheels fit the car, and other people like to make the car fit the wheels. And I'm the first option of wanting to make the wheels fit the car, so I don't really mind running smaller sizes this makes me want to run a white set of wheels if i ever ran a white set of wheels i would have to consider getting them ceramic coated just because the amount of brake dust that the front creates is crazy hope you guys like these pictures too by the way now i don't know if you guys remember my shockies that were on this car um, for a long time i traded them for these for some mb battles these are a really good offset which is why i considered i felt like i wouldn't have got my money back if i sold those shockies just because the amount i paid for them so i decided to trade them for these Really good spec MB battles, which have brand new tires, by the way, so I can just take these off and sell them. So yeah, I'm gonna put these on next. The back of the spokes hit it. I mean, not the back of the spokes, the back of the pad for the mounting surface. My five millimeter spacer doesn't fit because it gets in the way of the studs.
These are MB Battles. The specific wheel is a 18 by nine and a half plus 17. Uh, since it has a five millimeter spacer, it's gonna be a plus 12. And it has a 245-40 wrapped onto the wheel. Pretty aggressive tire, not gonna lie. If it were me, I'd probably run a 235-40 or even a 235-35 or even 225-40 or 225-35. Or if I wanna be crazy, 215-40 or if you're more crazy, 215-35. Um, again, based on personal preference, if you want more poke, you're gonna have to run a smaller tire so you don't rub. Either way, make sure to do your wire harness tuck or else you won't have a car. I do plan on polishing my Work Equip 05s, which will be the next set of wheels. Here are some pictures for you guys. I'm a really big fan of these model blocks. If I had more money, I would have gone for ABS's Model 7s, but usually those are pretty expensive for a model block of that age, in my opinion. I mean, these are still a desirable wheel. One of the few reps I would buy. Not sure if you guys are into that, but you know, it's your money. It's all personal preference. I just prefer quality wheels. For body kit, I don't really mind as much just because it tends to be hit up a lot when you're driving this slow. If you're wondering if this specific look, like seeing how aggressive it is, if it'll rub for me, all I have to do is take a credit card, cardboard, or even like some, you know, just some paper and just Run it through. There's some resistance, but if it ever rubs, it's because of that bump. So I just have to take a hammer and you know just persuade it to go away. But yeah, I mean just one layer, it's fine. So this is the next set of wheel I'll be throwing on. These are my work equips 05s. This specific wheel is a 18 by 10 and a half plus around like 25, 28, and it's wrapped in a 225-40, as you see from the stretch. For my personal preference, this is enough stretch. This specific wheel also is a low disc, which means that it has less brake clearance than a high disc, which are what the fronts are. You can tell by that big looking block, it's almost like a spacer for your big brake hoppers to fit. So yeah, we're just gonna be putting on the rears because they have the most aggressive lift and they're the widest. For the fronts, you can run a pretty aggressive wheel if you have stretched tires, which is why I keep trying to put on this 15 millimeter spacer, because I know the fronts will be sunken in more than the rear. Honey, five might be too much poke. Yeah, I think a 15 millimeter would be best. I was wrong. That's way better. And the rear, it's pretty flush. The rear has a five millimeter spacer and the front now has a 15 millimeter spacer. I'm um, starting so to like the equips in yellow just because it contrasts so much with the red taillights. I would like to say that I'm keeping this set forever, but I can't say for sure because I'm super undecisive and I love wheels, so I'm always changing the look on this car. Now it's time for the super big wheels. So these are Varius's TR5s. Ah! This is my only set of 19s left. They're 19 by 10 plus around 10. Pretty aggressive for my current body because you know I haven't fully pulled the rear quarter panels to its fullest potential because I don't want to ruin the paint or potentially baking it. So I have to repaint it and put in all this work to make these big wheels fit my car. Or sorry, make the cars fit the wheel. Yeah, that's not gonna fit without a huge amount of pulling and rolling. It's a no-go for these wheels, but it probably only needs like two or three millimeters of pull so I can, you know, tuck under when it's hitting bumps. A 215.35 on a 10 would be dope. For safety measures, probably a 225.40 or a 225.35. If you like 19s and big, big wheels, this is around the same spec you would want if you were to pull as much as I did, which is not very much. If you run a side... Ah! Okay, if you do decide to run 19s, I don't recommend running 40 sidewall just because it'll make your car look like an SUV. Again, remember, 
We have SC300, 400. We do not have SUV 300 or 400s. That's not a thing, so don't make it a thing, please. Your money, not my money, do what you want. Okay, just to quickly recap what I had mentioned, 17s, SA70s, and Model 6s. They're really good if you're really into that small wheel look for a big body. You can't go wrong with model blocks or three piece. I just feel like model blocks will look better, but I would love for you to prove me wrong. For 18s, I have MB Battles and Eclipse 05s. Uh, this is like the average size that a lot of people go. This is the go-to spec 18s. And for 19s, this is for people who like really big wheels on a big body. Okay, just some cons of running bigger wheels. Obviously, if you go to 19, tires are gonna start costing a lot more. From 17, uh, tires are pretty cheap because there's an abundance of tire sizes. The bigger you go, the heavier the wheel is, obviously. And if you go to three-piece wheels, like those, and my equips, they're gonna weigh more. But it's not like I make, you know, a thousand horsepower. I make probably less than what they say online. That's also a thing, if you make a lot of horsepower, and you care about how your car performs, the 19s might not be the way to go just because it eats into your horsepower. I know this just because I watch a lot of Mike Mac videos because he switched from his big 19 inch three piece wheels with seven inch lips to big RPF ones, which if you didn't know, RPF ones are like one of the lightest wheels in the game. And he gained like 50 horsepower. And he said that his car handled way better in terms of turning and how it takes bumps, etc., etc. I know that not all wheels have the same width and offsets, which is why I use the website called willtheyfit.com. You can enter in your specs and compare them to my specs I showed off in the video and see how they'll fit accordingly. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video.